it's a pleasure for me to present briefly the main results of this Monarch Free trial. Monarch Free is a trial that has been designed to test the clinical activity of abemacyclib in combination with uh, nosteroidal aromatase inhibitors as an initial therapy for menopausal patients with endocrine sensitive HER2 negative advanced breast cancer. Abemacyclib is a potent CDK4 and 6 inhibitors, and we know since now more than 10 years that the cycling D1 CDK4 6 pathway plays a key role in promoting proliferation of ER positive breast cancer. So the idea was that combining a CDK4-6 inhibitor such as abemacyclib with endocrine therapy could improve the activity of endocrine therapy alone. And here you can see indeed the design of the study, very simple design, two arms, the experimental arm with abemacyclib in combination with endocrine therapy, and the control arm where patients received placebo plus endocrine therapy. The study recruited 493 patients. All patients were menopausal. They had endocrine sensitive HER2 negative advanced breast cancer. They did not receive any prior treatment for metastatic disease. And the primary endpoint of the study was the comparison in terms of progression-free survival between the two treatment arms, the experimental arm versus the placebo arm. And as you can see, there is a statistically and clinically uh, significant difference in terms of progression-free survival between the two arms. The abemacyclic arm is superior to the control arm with a difference that is statistically significant, another ratio of 0.54. These are the main results in terms of side effects. I will not go into the details of this busy slide. I just want to draw your attention on the fact that using abemacyclib is associated with an increase in the rate of uh, diarrhea and also an increase in the rate of neutropenia. However, despite uh, the increase in the rate of neutropenia, the episodes of neutropenic fever in patients receiving abemacyclips are quite uncommon. Actually, we had only one patient who had neutropenic fever and who was treated with abemacyclip. So basically, the conclusions of our study are that abemacyclip in combination with a nosteroidal aromatase inhibitor is uh, superior than uh, a nosteroidal aromatase inhibitor alone in terms of progression-free survival, but also in terms of the objective response rate as the initial treatment of uh, uh, HER2 negative endocrine sensitive advanced breast cancer in a uh, postmenopausal patient. The effect of abemacyclib is seen in all the different subgroups However, we have observed that the patients deriving the largest benefit from abemacyclib are those who have adverse prognostic factors, such as, for instance, the presence of liver metastasis or the fact that uh, the disease has relapsed only after a few years from the end of adjuvant endocrine therapy. While we suggest, I didn't have the time to show this data to you, but I, we suggest with the present study that Patients with uh, good prognosis, such as, for instance, those who have only bone metastasis, may still be treated with endocrine therapy alone. In terms of side effects, uh, you can see, as I already mentioned, that there is an increase in neutropenia, an increase in diarrhea, but overall, the management of these side effects is absolutely feasible, and patients can tolerate the treatment and receive the treatment quite continuously. Thank you very much for your attention.